G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, in the workshop, you've got to have a hammer, don't you? I mean, this is a ball peen hammer. This gets most used in my workshop. That's a 22 ounce one. That's about the weight you want. That's, that's pretty good. And then, of course, if you do woodwork, well, then you want a claw hammer. You can see I don't do much woodwork. <laughs> so anyway, yep, we've got to have a ball peen. And then when you want to get brutal, you get a small sledge, a little, little sledge. And you can use that for cold, using cold chisels and impact drivers and stuff like that. And then if you want to knock stuff out and not damage it, you use the old rubber mallet. This is, you know, they come in all sizes. This is a pretty big one you can do. Tyres, you know, get tyres off rims with that. She's had a bit of use. But of course, they're pretty bouncy, springy things, and they don't really, even though they're... They don't damage the job, they bounce off, you know, they don't really work brilliantly on stuff that's frozen, you know. Say you want to knock out a Morse taper on a, on a spindle, you wouldn't, there'd be no good at all. So when you want to knock stuff out, not damaging it, I just use a bronze punch with a hammer, you know, or a mallet, a sledge hammer, whatever I need to do. And over the years, I've never had a soft-faced hammer, ever. Neither did my old man, he was a mechanic. We just use a piece of uh, bronze punch or a, put a block of jar, a bit of, you know, a bit of wood between the job and the hammer. Does the job, works okay. Anyway, I was out at Paramount Browns this morning and looking around, just killing a bit of time. I went out and looked at something else and anyway, I was just browsing the shelves and anyway, they had King Chrome brand, that's Australian brand. King Chrome, um, soft faced hammers, 22 ounce jobs, I think they were 30, nearly 30 bucks I think they were, don't quote me on that, but anyway I, I picked one up and I thought oh gee I could do one of these, never had one, I started walking to the cash register with it and then at the last minute I thought uh, I better do some pricing first, see if I can do better on that, you know, be a bit of a tight wad, so I put it back on the, on the rack drove home and when I was home I did some research and soft face hammers, two pounders go from basically cheapest I can see was for King Chrome was 22 bucks up to uh, about 37 I think from Total Tools and if we go to a Stanley they're like 100, over 130 dollars you know for a very similar thing so I thought how you know, I wonder what else is around. So I did some more searching and I found Super Cheap Auto. Had a look in there. And they're doing the 22 ounce one at the moment for $11. Normal price, $22. At the moment, $11 Australian. And I think the sale ends on the 14th of April. So did I get one? You bet I did. I hopped in the off the car and shot down there as quick as I could. And here it is. Check this out, boys. You'll never lose that mother in a hurry, will you? <laughs> that is bloody awesome. And it looks identical to the uh, King Chrome. I think the checkers on the handle is a little bit less severe. The King Chrome one, it was taking your hands a bit. This is better. I mean, it's not a round handle, but then most of the cheaper ones don't have a round handle. It's obviously got steel in it. And it's got, hear that? It's got lead shot in it, and that's how they work these soft blow hammers. They have heavy poly uh, head with a cavity with some lead shot in it, and that's what supplies the motive force. So if you want to, say, knock out a Morse tape or something with it, yeah, this should work pretty good. I haven't tried it yet, but anyway, I was so excited. I thought, wow, a bargain. Like, you know, you've got to share this. So even though I've just done a video the other day, here's a quick and dirty one to show you guys, the Australian guys anyway. If there's a super cheap auto near you and you want one of these, yeah, this is a good buy. Half price and it's got to be the cheapest one on the market at the moment. And I reckon it looks pretty damn good. Okay, well that's it for me. Quick and dirty. I don't normally do these sort of videos, but when you see a bargain, yep. Jump on it. Okay, I'll see you next time. Cheers.